Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. To say we were excited about the new Nissan Z would be an understatement. Not only had it been a long time coming, there were times where we thought it might not be coming at all. But it did, and now we have another reason to be excited. This 2024 Nissan Z Nismo. We were invited out to Sonoma, California for a street and track drive in the spiciest Z to date. The Z Nismo has the same 3-liter twin-turbo V6 under the hood, but here it cranks out 420 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. Increases of 20 horsepower and 34 foot-pounds compared to the base Z, a result of improved cooling, increased turbo speed for more boost, and ignition timing that Nissan says is inspired by the GTR. Power goes to the rear wheels via 9-speed automatic transmission. Sorry purists, no manual here. Outside, the red accents are a dead Nismo giveaway, but Z-Car fanatics will likely notice the extended G nose in a nod to the Fairlady 240ZG. Under the nose is a Nismo-specific grille design that features a thinner mesh, the thinnest of any Nissan product apparently. New side sills, a taller rear spoiler, and restyled bumper corners manipulate the air for reduced drag and more downforce. Inside, there are more red accents and these manually adjusting Recaro seats, which I got familiar with during my morning drive through the great filled hills of Sonoma County. So I've been paying attention to things like the stiffness. Now the base level Z is not exactly a supple car, uh, you know, but the, this Nismo has taken it up a notch. Higher spring rates means it, it bounces around a little bit on the road. I've been playing around a lot with the different drive modes here. There are three, standard, sport, sport plus. Usually I'm a sport person in most cars. I stick to the sport mode because it's a nice balance. Uh, here I find myself in sport plus a lot more and it has to do with the transmission. It's monitoring how I'm accelerating, how I'm braking, and then responding accordingly. So right now where I'm, I'm just kind of cruising, I'm up in eighth gear. Now, if I want to kick it up, I'm down to fourth real quick, but then as I let off, now I'm in ninth. Another benefit of the Sport Plus mode is that with each downshift or lift of the throttle, you get a nice crackle and pop out there in the back. A lot of induction noise coming from the front. Let's switch over to the paddles. Easy as you can just hit a paddle, downshift, and that puts you into manual mode, or you can go to this little slide shifter down here and get it there. Quick, smooth upshifts. Uh, the other thing I notice is that, again, responding to how you're driving, they are smooth upshifts. If you're, if I'm gonna go to fifth to six here without really accelerating hard, it is basically imperceptible, but we'll take it back down to four, three, and this shift, you probably saw me jolt forward because it gets to that next gear as quick as possible. It doesn't uh, really prioritize smoothness of the gear change. It just wants to get to that next gear faster. To keep me from getting into trouble on the street, Nissan booked some track time at Sonoma Raceway, where we took a few laps in an automatic equipped Z Performance before hopping into the Nismo. And we'll climb up the hill. I'll just let the car shift on its own. Yep, immediately. Those spring rates make a huge difference. Feels like there's a touch more response in the pedal too. I attribute that to probably engine mapping now with the Sport Plus mode. I feel much more precise with the steering in the Nismo. Brake tip in is good. Don't have to get too far into it to get some aggressive braking. Now this is a nice sweeper. More settled through here. That downhill, you're losing a lot of elevation and it's fast. You can pull some good G's, but it feels extremely settled in there. The rear even feels more planted. In the Z Performance out of that corner, I was almost always getting a little bit loose from the rear end. 
nothing there. These are wider wheels and tires and a stickier compound. It's a similar tire to the uh, GTR. There we go, a little bit of tail action there, but I really got on at that time. So on the street, I mentioned how the left to its own devices, the transmission really understands what you're doing at the time. And now that I'm driving more aggressively, I was concerned it might not hold the gear like I want it to, but I have not had a single issue. It is ahead of the curve. It gets me in the exact right gear. It's holding me here. Now that I'm going downhill, it is a significant difference, the Z car to the Z Nismo. Those little changes, again, like when you, when you look over the spec sheet, you see, okay, yeah, stiffer this, more rigid that, tighter this, that. It doesn't really mean a whole lot until you get out here on the track and it makes a huge difference. The 2024 Nissan Z Nismo goes on sale this fall with a destination included price tag of $66,000 over 12,000 more than the Z Performance and 22,000 more than the base Z Sport. We'll have more on the Nissan Z Nismo and others right here on MotorWeek.